everyone i just wrapped up day one of the quantum india bangalore summit 2025 and i had to quickly jump onto my laptop to share what i witnessed today because this is absolutely incredible so i'm here at qib 2025 and let me tell you this isn't just another tech conference today i literally saw the future of india's technology landscape unfold right in front of my eyes the karnataka government just announced they're committing 6000 crores to make bangalore the quantum city of the future that's over 7 hundred million dollars guys i spent today surrounded by nobel laureates and quantum experts from around the world all gathered here in bangalore but here's what blew my mind i got to see a replica of india's first quantum computer yes you heard that right qpi ai a bangalore based startup has actually built india's first full stack quantum computer called qpi ai indus standing next to that machine i felt like i was literally looking at the future the energy here is just electric. Everyone's talking about how quantum technology is going to revolutionize everything from drug discovery to cybersecurity to artificial intelligence. The industry experts I spoke with today painted a picture that honestly gave me goosebumps about what's coming next. What really struck me was how serious the government is about this. This national quantum mission with 6,000 crores isn't just talk. They're building an entire ecosystem right here in India. Research centers, startups, and manufacturing facilities are all focused on making India a quantum superpower and here's the timing this summit is happening in 2025 which is officially the international year of quantum so india isn't just entering the quantum race it's making this massive announcement when the entire world is watching quantum technologies i've got so much more to share from today's sessions the demonstrations i saw and the conversations i had with researchers and industry leaders this is just my day one update and trust me there's so much more coming i'll be back tomorrow for day two of the summit and i promise you the insights and announcements from day two are going to be even more mind-blowing so make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell because my day two update is going to dive deep into the quantum technologies that are literally going to change our world the quantum revolution is here and it's happening right here in bangalore see you in the day two update that, that microsoft uh, announced uh, earlier this year the marijuana based uh, architecture for quantum computing the big algorithm which can pick lattice. Lat the current PQC is based on lattice, and we have to see like uh, if quantum algorithm there is any exponential. Thank you, Bala, for this kind introduction. Um, so, in many ways, I am an outsider to this community. Uh, my research area is generally in AI, especially generative AI. So, over the last few years, uh, seeing my colleagues uh, in ISC excited about quantum computing. Uh, He's professor of physics at the Princeton University. The recipient of the 2016 Nobel Prize in Physics for theoretical discoveries of topological phase transitions and topological phases of matter. Ladies and gentlemen, he is an elected fellow of several organizations and of course uh, various uh, capacities. He has uh, rendered yeoman service uh, to the nation, to the world. His main research interests include strongly interacting quantum Many body condensed matter systems, especially those explored by non perturbative methods. Let's give a round of applause. Thank you very much for accepting the felicitation. That is the traditional Mysuru Peta, which would signal Karnataka to the entire world. Thank you very much, Professor and uh, Duncan Halman.